hundreds of young people from across the region were at Kelowna's Okanagan College on Friday to put their physics knowledge to the test. The annual spaghetti bridge building competition was held at the campus on Friday with grade school students from across the region participating. We built a few bridges before this um, and then we broke it. A lot of them failed, so then we put a few more structural things in. We're using triangles because triangles disperse the weight the best. So just trying to see the balance between weight and structure. You want to have the lightest bridge to hold one to the Think about all like the forces acting on it and like where the weight is going to be distributed and just kind of go from there and see what forces need to be parallel and perpendicular. So a lot of physics and math. I want to make sure that specific places that have like instability are stabilized with multiple pieces. But you also want to make sure like that they're angled correctly. If their if their angle is too acute or obtuse, it's going to like interrupt the stability of the actual bridge. After two hours of building, their designs were put to the test with the goal of holding one kilogram for 60 seconds. Some were successful, while others were not. There's events going on around the province, but Okanagan College acts as the regional hub uh, in the interior for students to come, work with their hands, get to skills, build skills, and then advance on to both the provincials and the nationals. And this is the type of event that would introduce them to our programming and some of the work that you end up doing in the programming because one of the things that we do here at Okanagan College is it's about hands-on learning. So these kids are here using their hands, they're building things, they're building skills, and that's all going to lead to eventual success in a career. This year's event also included skill building competitions in welding, carpentry, culinary, engineering and architecture, while events like the gravity car race was also held throughout the day. No! For Castanet News here at Kelowna's Okanagan College, I'm Nick Johansson.